Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm looking at the Evic IV 7 inch capacitive touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi. Now, although it's marketed for the Raspberry Pi, it can in fact be used for any other device as an external monitor. As you can see here, I'm using it with my mini PC. Now in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the screen and then go through the initial setup and then show you how to connect it to a Raspberry Pi 4 and then any other device with a HDMI output. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok, like I mentioned before, this is a 7 inch capacitive touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi. It's an IPS screen which means you get great viewing angles and it comes with a 16 by 9 view ratio with a 1024 by 600 screen resolution. And you can see it's compatible with a PC, Xbox and PlayStation. And weight wise it comes in at 244 grams. Ok so let's take a quick look inside the box. We've got some protective packaging on the screen itself. And in the box we've got, we've got a pretty comprehensive instruction manual which you're definitely going to need to use. A thank you note, a USB to micro USB cable, HDMI cable, a USB to USB-C cable, mini USB to micro USB cable, a USB-A to a pin connector, a HDMI to ribbon connector and we've also got a power connector to a pin connector, a micro HDMI to ribbon connector, a 5V 3 amp power adapter and finally we get some metal stands for the screen. And last but not least we get a touch point stylus. So first impressions of the screen is it's pretty well made and it's got a solid construction. Now on the back we've got all our connections and ports. So up top we've got our two speakers and in the center we've got our standoffs for our Raspberry Pi 4 or even a Raspberry Pi 0. Here we've got our HDMI ribbon connector port which we can use with the supplied HDMI to ribbon connector. Above that we've got our two micro USB 5 volts in, one of those being 5 volts plus touch. And above those we've got our power LED indicator. And on the opposite side we've got our power, menu, up and down and exit buttons. All these for your on screen menu. The first thing I'm going to do is attach these metal stands with the screws supplied. It's fairly straightforward, they even supply a screwdriver. And this is what it looks like with both of the stands attached. Now the first thing I'm going to test this screen with is my mini PC. It's a Windows 10 machine with a Core i3 processor. And connections to this are pretty straightforward. We've got a HDMI cable connecting the PC to the HDMI input of the screen. And we've got a micro USB to USB cable connected from the PC to the screen 5V plus touch input. Now powering on you first get the Raspberry Pi screen and then we get the Lenovo badge pop up and eventually we get the Windows logo. So far so good. Powering up the first thing we get is the Raspberry Pi logo and then we get the Lenovo splash screen and then finally Windows. And as you can see the touch screen is working pretty well and we can log in as normal and everything's working well inside Windows. We can click on the Windows button to get to the Windows menu and I'm using my fingers just to scroll through the Windows menu. No issues at all, the scrolling is pretty smooth. And let's close that and let's try the browser. So this is Microsoft Edge and we can interact with the tiles on the browser with our fingers. As you can see it's all working very well. The only limiting factor is the speed of my PC. So I can scroll down on the web page with my fingers and then just click on any item I want to look at, just like a tablet. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now if we look at YouTube, it will give us a chance to hear the speakers. Now as you can hear the speakers are pretty loud compared to the size of them. And I was able to view up to 1080p on the video playback. So setting the screen up with a Raspberry Pi 4 is pretty straightforward. I've attached it to the screen with the screws provided. And my connections are the Raspberry Pi Power and the Mini HDMI. Which goes all the way around and connects to the screen here. To the full HDMI input. And next to that we've got the 5V plus touch input going to the Raspberry Pi which powers it. And lastly we've got the 5V in which is powered by the plug provided. Now I could have used the ribbon to HDMI connection but I found it was slightly too small to connect to the mini HDMI port 1. Which is a shame because it would have made things a lot neater. Now again powering up we get the Raspberry Pi logo followed by the Pi OS boot up screen. And of course here I'm using it with the Pi OS distribution and it works very well. If I click on the star button I get the menu coming up and I just scroll through with my pen and it's all very responsive. Now I've also tried the screen with Manjaro and it works perfectly. As you can see web browsing is a breathe either using the pen provided or you just use your fingers. 
So overall guys, this is a great little screen for your Raspberry Pi or any other device that's going to accept it. I had a great experience with it and I would highly recommend it. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next one.